We want to go right now to CBS News campaign reporter Nicole Skanga. She is at a watch party in Manchester, New Hampshire. Nicole, what were people in New Hampshire reacting to the most from the debate? Well, Elaine, to Caitlin Huey Burns and Ed O'Keefe's earlier point, a lot of folks cheered here when Senator Elizabeth Warren pointed out that she and Amy Klobuchar, Senator Amy Klobuchar, have in fact won every single race that they've been uh, competed in. And when I walked around the room and asked voters what they cared most about, every single person here told me they want a candidate who can defeat President Donald Trump, but no one agreed on what electability actually meant. Uh, there's also an old cliche in campaign politics that voters don't care a great deal about foreign affairs. They tend to focus on domestic issues. But tonight, uh, voters were definitely dialed into the conversations about uh, increasing escalation in Iran. I talked to a number of younger voters. This is the New Hampshire Young Democrats watch party who have never known life without war and who tell me they feel like the United States government is funneling too much money overseas to fund, uh, you know, to steal language from Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, regime change wars. In fact, I spoke with one voter who told me that she was getting ready to enlist in Army ROTC and she wanted to see common sense foreign affairs and she was looking you know at vice president joe biden and former uh, afghanistan veteran uh, former south bend mayor pete Buttigieg for that leadership and so certainly paying attention to what is happening overseas in iran uh, overall though elaine i asked a number of voters here if tonight moved the needle for them and they told me no uh, they came in with the same candidate they left with so a a lot of interesting discussion, uh, but not a ton of uh, change in terms of decision making here tonight. All right, Nicole Skanga with a view from New Hampshire for us. Nicole, thank you.